Hey everybody. I'm glad how many people like the fun facts with Discord on camera, but because of how much of a hassle it was to get up the first time, I have a bad taste on my mouth about doing it again. But we might bring it back into the future, but for now, uh, fun facts of Discord will return this way and a little bit more up close to sound like a broadcasting thing. So, what do you say we learn some stuff, shall we? Here we go. Okay. The real name of the inverted cross is the Cross of St. Peter. Its meaning is completely opposite to what it is now know in today's time. The cross is inverted because it commemorates the first pope of the Catholic Church, Peter. It is believed that he requested to be crucified upside down because he felt that he was unworthy to be crucified in the same manner as Jesus. Dang, Peter. That's a horrible way to go, too. Imagine all the blood rushing to your head. A cat can sense when a human is sad, hurt, or dying, so they go to the human and purr at a specific frequency to comfort them, meaning that they have a built-in comfort your loved ones, and people still think they're assholes. I mean, you could still be an asshole and be comforting. It's called being a family member. I don't know, just saying. If you don't already know this, in D&D 5th edition, there is something called a help action. You can use your action in combat to give an ally advantage on skill checks, attack rolls, and I think saving throws. Note, you either need to be next to an enemy or an ally to do either. This is good to know. Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of Kirby and Super Smash Bros. series, along with helping direct Kid Icarus Uprising, did not know there was going to be a Super Smash Bros. game on the Wii until Reggie announced it at E3 2006. I love Reggie, but that was the ultimate dick move by him. Look at that poor man. He really, I think he just wanted to end it on the GameCube. In a Greek myth, Pygmalion, Pygmalion, either way I'm gonna be wrong, made a statue that was basically the first waifu pillow. But when the festival of Aphrodite came around, he begs her to bring her waifu to laifu. <laughs> oh, now that is a power move. The Bible is called the Bible because it comes from the Greek word for book, Biblion. There is another word for book that is interchangeable, Bublion. That means that the Bible could have been called the Bible. Well, I'm waiting to get struck by lightning right now. Nope, oh, all right, cool. The French refer to anything baguette stick-shaped as a type of baguette. Example, a drumstick is a drum baguette. This means that Harry Potter's wand is a magic baguette. Uh, French followers, can you verify that for me? Because that sounds redonkulous that it can't be true. It is possible to remove blood from clothing using dish soap and lukewarm water because full hot cooks the blood into the fabric and full cold doesn't get it all out. The original name for the South Park fractured butthole was South Park, the asshole of time. I don't know if that one's true. I've been told the reason it's called Fracture Butthole is because Matt and Trey wanted butthole on the title and they couldn't do it. So it's butt space hole. And it got through. Just saying. Pretty sure that's the reason. In the N64 version of Banjo Tooie, the opening cutscene lags and the music was composed around this lag. Unfortunately, in the Xbox version, the lag is fixed, and as such, the music is now out of sync. Now, you'd think they would just leave the lag a little bit there just for that one moment. I don't know. That would drive me nuts. Because the English language is dumb, and buffalo can be both a verb and a noun, buffalo, 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 buffalo is technically a sentence that has a meaning. Ow. English, you're drunk, go home. Baldi wants to leave a disclaimer if this is true or not, and if it's not, please forgive them. Bob Ross, before becoming a painter, used to be a drill sergeant, and he hated it so much that he made a promise to never shout or yell ever again. That's why he speaks so calmly in a somewhat soft tone while doing his paintings. I like that. That's, I hope that's true. That's very pleasant. And on another subject of a very wholesome human being, final fact. Mr. Rogers' favorite actor, as said by his wife, is Tom Hanks. And this Thanksgiving is the release of the Mr. Rogers movie, starring Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. That is beautiful. Whether or not it's true, we can all agree that is touching. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!